It wasn't an easy de decision. There were times when at first I wanted to do computer science and then I wasn't sure and then I thought, oh, I do maths and then I wasn't sure which college to go to. Um, and eventually I chose maths at Trinity and I'm so happy I did. Um, and it's really nice to have Miss Bell here now because I like Miss Bell made a huge difference in getting me here. So. I loved your year group at school, it's such a nice year group. From my point of view as a teacher, um, it was, uh, any extra I put in, it, Melissa was putting in three times as much, and so it, it was, it just felt, it felt very natural. I, I feel like your maths ability overtook mine probably, I don't know, year 11 or year 12, and, and it was, and I just wasn't worried about that. And I think it would have been very easy as a teacher to be really worried about that and feel like I had to keep up or always be one step ahead um, because that's normally how we operate as teachers. But um, I had a, somebody said something to me once where uh, on a course that Usain Bolt's coach doesn't run as fast as Usain Bolt. And that was a really helpful thing to have in the back of my mind. The last couple of years working with you, it was I was definitely more of a coach than a teacher because I think you're, you were self-teaching a lot of the maths and where I came in was kind of giving you structure, motivation. There was a period of time before I, uh, before Miss Bell was my teacher where I felt like maths lessons was just kind of doing maths questions and like I said I've, I, I was planning to do computer science at university um, because I didn't realise how much further you could go with maths and then Miss Bell introduced me to uh, some Enrich which is a maths website that has kind of challenging maths problems that go a bit beyond the curriculum and also to the UK Maths Trust um, maths problems, which are, again, a lot harder and a lot more interesting. And I think because there's, there's such a scope within those for like getting better, and you can see how much better you're getting, because when I first looked at some of the questions, I was like, there's no chance I, I can do this. And then after a few years, like it's a very long-term thing, but after a few years, I could do the questions. I think that's really re rewarding and what kept me going. You, know, you saying that there were questions where you'd spent hours and hours on them, I think that in itself shows one of the things you did to get here because you just you became more and more comfortable with being stuck for a really long time. Yeah. And I think that's part of getting better at maths. I think it's doing harder and harder questions and, and not shying away from being stuck for, for a really long time. Yeah. Um, and I think like it's an important thing that you did as a teacher that a lot of teachers don't do, which is like show that you're stuck as well. Like mm -hmm. I think we spend a lot of time like being stuck on a question together. You definitely were somebody who wanted to try and aim for the top possible grades. I remember you saying once you like to minimise the number of people above you <laughs> in every exam, which I, and I think that's that's a massive reason for your success at school, um, but probably also massively added to your stress all yeah. the way through. I wanted to aim high, but there was like a long period of time where I didn't really believe that I could actually do that, and I think that Miss Bell like really believed that I could could do it and I could see that you believed that I could do it and that helped me to kind of think it was worth putting the effort in because I would get there.